Maybe I should stay and run for mayor. Yeah! That's what I'll do. Did you know? I did not know until this trip out here that uh, there's a primary race for mayor coming up soon in Los Angeles, right? And I saw a lot of signs today. It said, Return Mayor Yorty. <laughs> and unfortunately for Mayor Yorty, the signs were at L.A. Airport just after he got off a plane from Mexico. <laughs> so I... Oh, this is a good audience. We love it out here. It's the end of our first week. Typical audience. Where else would you see old ladies applauding by slapping their bare midriff with a rolled-up copy of Teenage Nudist? <laughs> we don't get that in New York. I uh, almost didn't get out here tonight. I stopped to watch a, a Hollywood funeral procession. Now, I know that uh, <laughs> that sounds a little callous, but you see, back east, we seldom get to see a topless kazoo player riding a yak. <laughs> Did you hear from Forrest Lawn at all this trip? I told this story last year I was out here because I kidded Forrest Lawn, which is a very unusual establishment. Uh, and I kept making jokes on the air. And the next day, after about three days, I got this call. True story. And this voice. And you knew the guy worked for Forrest Lawn. He says, Mr. Carson, they always... Do. I said, yes. He says, you've been doing some material about Forrest Lawn. I said, yes. He says, but we will have the last laugh. <laughs> He had me in a box, you know, ready to go already. People are nice out here. You know what? I think they're more friendly in California. Would you say than New York? Thank you. As a matter of fact, a couple of days ago, in honor of Ash Wednesday, a motorcycle gang. Uh, <laughs> you got something, folks? What is it? Motorcycle gang. Rode down the Sunset Strip and put ashes on people's foreheads by grinding their cigarettes out. Isn't that nice? <laughs> <laughs> a little rain out here again. Boy, you've had enough, haven't you, in Los Angeles? Have you seen the free press? Huh? That they hand out, these people hand out to you? Well, how do you explain the free press for people who haven't seen it? But the rains have triggered a whole new wave of ads, which are rather interesting. So one today it says, girl with wet rumpus room. <laughs> Wishes to meet man with sump pump. <laughs> you see that? You, you seen that, haven't you? I bought one today from one of those uh, sidewalk machines. The machine self destructs in ten seconds after you buy it. <laughs> Los Angeles had a scare up this morning. The sun came out for about <laughs> fifteen. The churches filled up in about a half an hour. Our staff is doing well. Um, it's like sailors on leave. We come out here and we act sillier than we normally do because we're away from home. And uh, John Carsey, our associate producer, uh, he's, he's strange. Um, he likes the Hollywood Wax Museum. Um, I know, I saw him about five this morning in the hotel trying to carry the Bride of Frankenstein across the door. Uh, at least I think it was Bobby Quinn. You know Bobby, the beast with ten fingers. Bobby! <laughs> I make these jokes up. Last night, Bobby was picked up with an unidentified gypsy in Griffith Park trying to force feed a squirrel Mexican jumping beans. Did you believe that? <laughs> we're out in Burbank. I say Hollywood, but we're really in the beautiful downtown Burbank, as Dan and Dick say. I passed Dean Martin was coming in the gate out here, and he had forgotten his identification to get into the studio. And he was apologizing to the guard, and the guard says, it's all right, Mr. Martin. We know who you are. And Dean said, thank goodness. Who am I? <laughs> That happened right outside the, uh... Of course, you've heard the big news. I just discovered water off Santa Barbara. Uh... 
We've opened three new restaurants down on the Santa Barbara coast. Ask me what the names are. Well, what are the names? Hmm? Well, what are the names? Man wanted to know what the names are. <laughs> they got Don the Beach Greaser. It's a new place. Uh, Leaky Pete's. <laughs> and Trader Yich. <laughs> What are you doing this weekend? Uh, now, I, I kid in about you. Know, I wouldn't want to say he's imply you would do anything to pick up a little loot. But name me one other big-time announcer who on a weekend would put on a grass skirt, go to a filling station, and hand out wiki-wiki dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy Rich is with us, and Louie are going to do something together. We have Judy Karn from Laugh-In, that lovely, lovely girl. Um, and we have George Goble is here tonight. Whom am I leaving out? And who else knows? Hmm? <laughs> Mr. Rich likes to come out in front and watch, doesn't he? Okay. So, stay where you are. Where did you get that coat? I've had this. This is a, a California product. It, <laughs> well, whoopee-doo. <laughs> See what happens when you start wearing that stuff? You just... <laughs> you start to go bananas when you wear that stuff. I've held my body back as long as I can. <laughs> oh, I wish I had a line, but I don't. Uh, so anyway, we're going to have a great wild time tonight, so we'll be... We've got something that's going to be really, really exciting. You, you missed it this afternoon when they were rehearsing? I see the rehearsal, yeah. But you know, out here we've got uh, Louis Belson, who is one of the fine, fine drummers in the world. I don't know, even know how you equate drummers when, they, when they're this good. And, of course, Buddy Rich has won about every poll, I guess, in his life that you can, you can win. The Playboy poll. The album Mercy Mercy is number three on the charts, I hear. Um, and uh, what can you say? And they got together tonight with the troops. And we have a beautiful setup here. And it's going to be crazy time. So would you welcome Louis Belson and Mr. Buddy Rich. Judy Carn. Hello. 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 Hello.
Thank you, Rob. Yeah. Is that my dress? What there is of it is... Uh, <laughs> is fa- I've seen doilies better than... <laughs> Anna Macassar. You, you know what an Anna Macassar is? Pardon? And Anna Macassar. Those no. are things I used to put on armchairs. Little lace things that... Oh, yes, yes. On the backs They're of chairs. They're called something different in England. They're called chair backs, which makes oh. <laughs> Right? We're probably behind the times. Anna Macassar <laughs> is kind of a dumb name, isn't it? For chair backs. Right, right. <laughs> Why would they call it an Anna Macassar? I don't know. The Americans do tend to complicate things a bit, I think. We have a lot of different things here that can get you in trouble. I mean, right. if you say them in England, they're completely different, oh, right? Oh, I'll say. Mm-hmm. More got... trouble here. You get That's into right. trouble when you come here. You know, knock me up at nine and all that sort of thing. <laughs> that means wake up. That's right. Right. Somebody said that to me on uh, one trip to London. <laughs> Explain to the judge that uh, <laughs> during pre trial exam. <laughs> very strange. But that's cute. That's, Thank that's you. very cute. That's starting a fashion line. You were going into yes. the clothing thing? Is this yes. one of your little designs? Uh, yes. Well, no, I didn't design it. There's yeah. this marvelous girl called Claudette Duran, and the line is called Claudette. And she's done a line of Judy clothes, and this is one of them. Judy clothes? Yes. <laughs> and we have a fashion show at Santa Anita Racetrack, of all places. On Saturday, we're going to model them, and I'm going to put on them the racetrack. Yes, we're going to do it in between races. <coughs> you know, something different. That's a different. novelty. Yeah. That's a novelty. Everybody does it at a hotel or something, so we thought we'd do it at a racetrack. Yeah. And uh, anything to be different, right? Yeah. So we're going to do that uh, tomorrow. That's a good tomorrow. idea. That's a good idea. What else are you involved in? Um, I'm leaving for England on, uh, Going uh, back home? Monday morning. Do they get yeah. laugh in, uh, in England? Oh, like, yes. We talked about that the other yes. night, I'm sure. Yes, yes. And, um, I'm sort of really excited because I'm going to do a whole bunch of, uh, craft musical summer shows, oh, which will air here and there. What are you going to do with Whitney? Oh, oh don't you were watching, on. you devil. Yeah. She had her dog on the show the other night, and right in the middle of it, I don't know why, the dog's name is Whitney, which struck me, and I says, are you taking Whitney to London? And I said, that's a dumb question for a grown man to ask. That did it. But Whitney From is, then on, Whitney all your questions here, were just... Whitney's staying here. Right, yes. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're that silly law, you know. They're so yeah. antiquated with that. We're back now. I know you were taping the, uh, the other night, Bob, because uh, they had the dinner for Jack Benny. Right. And you got hung up till about 12.30 or 1 o'clock in the morning. I was all set. Show. I know. I was all set to come over there and say a couple of things because, uh, not only because you were there, but Jack was so nice enough to do a dinner for me down at the Desert Classic. And, uh, you know, he does a lot of things. He's a guy that does... Great things, and he was celebrating. You were the MC, weren't you? I am seated. And uh, celebrating his 75th anniversary. 75th year old, 20th it's hard, year in television. It's hard to believe, isn't it? Oh, 20 wow. years in television. Oh. <laughs> That's hard to convince the producers of Turn On, I bet, huh? <laughs> <laughs> 20 years. The only show that got canceled years. during a commercial. That is a short right. the middle. They said, Turn On. No, but um, <laughs> wasn't that something? Well, oh, that's, that was George, too, though. We shouldn't yes. mention that because a, George has done pretty well with that shop. other thing. A big yeah. shop, too. But yeah. Jack is, is great, you know. And I tell you one thing. you can't. There's no way you can not like Jack Benny because he not only does great things for people, but he's also, I think, got the prettiest legs at Sun City, don't you? He does. Yeah. He You've seen him in drag, here. haven't you? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. He's beautiful. Yeah. That's when I met him the first time. I followed him two blocks. <laughs> so embarrassed when I caught up to him. I signed him for a guest shot. This is the truth. <laughs> no, but he is a you know, wonderful... Jack did that line on himself the other did night. Did he really? He does about, when, uh, about Phil Harris. Yeah. Quotes him said about oh, yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, Phil yeah. Harris once yeah. said about Jack Benny. And Jack quotes the line himself. Yeah. He says, Phil once said that you put a dress on him and you could take him any place in town. <laughs> <laughs> but can you imagine this guy, uh, you know, at his age, he's one of my favorites among the older fellas, and... Uh, <laughs> At his age, the way he's going, it's just my, and he's a delightful ham, this guy. Yeah. He really is. He's, he's, he's the most... He talks about you the other night. He's, he's the too delight- big hams. Well, I think, well, I give it to him, really. If a sink gurgles, he does 20 minutes. <laughs> it's, just it's true. Want to bring, bring a George Stannon back right here? We've got, this is a delightful guy. I think he's one of the funny, funny men in our business. Who? George Goble. George Goble? George Goble. He, I dig him. I thought he was going to introduce me again. <laughs>
Can we get where's that? Then? No, but where's the guy you talked to? Where's... <laughs> John! <laughs> this, so this is old John, yeah. huh? You know, not only are you important in show business, but I found out you're important in hotels and everything. Every time I get a room, there's a John. <laughs> right? Oh, yes. How long do you have to wear that brace? It's not very long. I got the test back today. It's coming along nice. Now, this is where you do it every night, huh? I thought you were in New York doing it. We do that. We come out here twice a year, Dean. Come out where? Come out here. In California. Oh, we're in, oh, we're in California California now. now. Yes. That's a... Talk my way once in a while. I want to live, too. <laughs> Just don't talk up. You'll set off the sprinkler system. Get wiped out here. Oh, this is beautiful. It is good to see you. I thought you what were. What did you call me? Lonesome what? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I was talking about George Scoville. In fact, I didn't know you were going to come out here. Oh, no. George isn't here. George Lamp did it? <laughs> Who's George Lamp? <laughs> well, old John. <laughs> Yeah, I thought this place was bigger than this thing here. You work there. You work when you do your show down the hall, right? That way. Down the hotel, the building, building here. You drink a lot, don't no, you? No, no. This is it, huh? Now, they always kid you about Aren't your... you supposed to ask me things? Sure. <laughs> can, I, can I try this? Because people always kid and say, it's just a prop. You know, no, show no, business that's... prop. That's, uh... <laughs> oh, Oh, oh sure. Oh, yeah. well, huh? These all American boys, but I do the drinking. Yes. I say the hell with a doctor. <laughs> Speaking of doctors, my Don't doctor. Don't Eddie's oh. back on prune juice. <laughs> My doc sent me a note. He said, uh, said stop smoking. Yeah. I rolled it and smoked it. Smoked a note. <laughs> There's the guy with all the new suits, huh? Yeah. He can't make that much money. No, I'll tell no. you that. <laughs> well, I finally found a perfect girl I could not ask for more. She's deaf and dumb and oversexed and owns a liquor store. <laughs> There was an old hermit named Dave. No, that's a whole... There was an old hermit named what? Named Dave. Dave? But that's another type Dave. of a limerick there. Well, I... old John. Old John, right? <laughs> right here. This is the way the show works. Well, you got to ask me something. I just yeah. can't sit here. You're all, uh... They're doing... going to do something. Look at that. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing, yeah, fellas? Sorry. What you're, are you doing? You're through for the season, aren't you? Oh. Yeah? Are you through? <laughs> Me. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm through for this season. Yeah. yeah, of course you are. Yeah, I finished my show uh, last show Christmas. Yeah. And what are you doing? What, what are you doing now? I mean, it's... nothing. I'm going to go to uh, Minneapolis mm. to do airport with Burt Lancaster. Yeah. yeah. This was... But somebody hijacked the. Uh, Step, we're going to do it in Cuba. <laughs> right. They talk I find it. that hard to believe. To it. No, it's the truth. The truth. Yes. yes. <laughs> you got a great thing going with those Matt Helm things. Because all you have in them are beautiful girls. Like Bob. Every time Bob does a picture. Beautiful well, girls. Well, that's why Bob has been a success. He's always had beautiful girls with him. And, uh, Jeannie don't want me to do that. <laughs> you don't want a bad eye, huh? Ha! <laughs> I read it. I'll tell you, Grace. Yes. <laughs> you read what? You'll be working with Clay soon. You're getting much better. <laughs> you'll be after that weekend privileges. Uh, last time I ran into Dean, one time I ran into you, was in Las Vegas in the summer, in July. And, uh...
Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Why? You ran into me where? In July, it was about 114 degrees. <laughs> and you were out on the golf course. In 114 degree weather. How do you play in that kind of weather? Remember golf course? <laughs> yeah, try to read my lips. Golf course. Summer, Las Vegas. <laughs> Summer. <laughs> oh, I, I play a lot of golf in Las Vegas. <laughs> you know, I heard that somewhere. I do. Yeah. Play a lot of golf there. Yeah. I played with you once. It was 114. <laughs> I didn't know that. Is that a fact? The only fella I know uses a cork for a tee. <laughs> Boy, they sure have got... Yeah. <laughs> they sure beat staying up. Doesn't, doesn't it, though? <laughs> this, this is a lot of... Do we have to cut away for a second here? We're going to leave for just a second or two. We're, we're coming right we're back. We're coming here. back? Oh, yeah. Welcome back to... 20 hour on the air. We're back now. Wait, we're, we're back, we're back, 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 back oh, on the air. Back. back on the air. Well, on the God. air, live, going right, going right into all homes across America. We're on the air. I watched it last night. You had this, uh, you know, all the uh, laughing show in. That was Monday night. That's just the last night. <laughs> last night. You're on a delayed broadcast out here at your house, aren't you? <laughs> what is that? Does it take? <laughs> what is tonight? No, tonight is a Friday. Friday? Friday. I missed my own show? <laughs> Man, it was... I saw it. You were lucky. <laughs> little, little Zingarini there, huh? Yeah, I, just, I want to tell you about last night, Jeannie. She surprised you had a nice little supper with wow. the candles, you know. Sweet. And I said, just hold it, baby. I'm going down the cellar, and I went down, so I brought up something real old with cobwebs and everything. My mother-in-law. You're right there in the cellar. Must have, been a little, must have been a little musty, I suppose. Oh, oh it must yeah. have been a beautiful day. Okay. Okay. Do you, um, are you a fast study? You're going to go to this movie airport. He said, Bert yeah. Lancaster calls you. And, uh, he ca Bert called me. He said, want to do a little rehearse? And I said... No, you just learn your lines, I'll learn mine. We'll see if they fit. I mean. <laughs> he said, we'll go jogging. I said, you go jogging, I'll go jogging. <laughs> you know, I don't want no award. I just want to get the thing over with. <laughs> to do. Airport. <laughs> yeah, when Dean Martin shows up, will you be surprised? He'll be out here shortly. I met him to come down here. Yeah. How did you get over here tonight? Did you drive over? Or? No, I don't have a car. I flew down. Flew down? <laughs> no cars at all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got a lot of gas in my house. <laughs> Probably that old piece of shrapnel in there from the war that's just kicking up on you, right? What I do want to say? <laughs> did anybody catch that? There's George. George is going to get out of here. Spot. You're oh, that's, sweet. that's okay. You. Johnny, I want to tell you something. I'm very <laughs> glad to be here. And I'm going to tell you, without me, your show tonight would have been nothing. <laughs> this is a pretty fast league. Oh, here, this is uh, the eight troops are out and, here. And tonight. I'm glad you saved me <coughs> now, you know. Because, uh, you know, when you come on last, you're... Uh, did you ever get the feeling? Uh, did you ever get the feeling that the world was a tuxedo and you were a pair of brown shoes? <laughs> One of those days, huh? <laughs> and I have a feeling it's going to get worse before it gets better. <laughs> Nowhere to go, but. Uh, because I told Alice I'd be home early. <laughs> and in good shape. <laughs> You're in good shape right now, I think. That's about the best I ever felt in my whole life. <laughs> Just waiting for you to get off. You know, I had, to, I had the yips and the jingles and the whips and the clanks and everything. You know, because 
Yeah, guys, you know, I don't mind somebody getting a few laughs, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, when you're waiting in the, in the back. Hit so. you? What? After the laughs I heard he got, I started drinking. <laughs> well, I gotta say one thing, uh... I started even before he got the laugh. I figure you ought to get a good early start. Do you, do you, do you have one or two, George, before you perform? Just to kind of settle in there? Ooh, me. <laughs> is, is, is the Pope a Catholic? <laughs> you talk like a man that lost gotta, his mind. Really. You gotta have sight fits, too, when you're down here. <laughs> Well, I, I'm a sight, you know, I, 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 I just, uh, no, I, I get so uh, jumped up like this because this has happened to me before. One time in uh, the desert, they had a big show, and this fellow said, George, we need you right now. We really do. You better get down here, Georgie. Uh, oh, no, I just come down to rest. And he said, oh, we're not going to have a show, and it turned out just like this. I got down there, Bob Hope, Phil Harris, Keely Smith, Ray Bolger, and, and, uh, I guess, I don't know why, but uh, I guess it's because everybody else squeaks and they figure I won't complain too much. <laughs> so in the meantime, I'm sitting back there and waiting to go on, and I think I'll have one just to steady myself, you know. And I do. Because, you no, know, let's face it, you ask me if I do have a... I, I have a drink or two on occasion, mm -hmm. you know, like if the sun goes down or something <laughs> like that. Then, uh... Volkswagen drives by. Yeah, uh, anything. Uh, then I fired up pretty good, you know. <laughs> But, uh, no, but I'll tell you one thing. I have, I have never been known to touch a drop during a total eclipse. <laughs> Which is more than I can say for my friend. Right. George and I, we, we drink moderately, and I got a case of it in the back of my car. I'll bet you do. Boy, he's got a lot of... And we're going to get right back to the edge of your car right now. You can bet no, your no, sweet the thing face. Is... <laughs> I just had to think about that a little yes, bit. Yes, it takes time. Comes in a little bit late, you know. Like he says, he misses his show. You know, I, I've uh, got a television set at home that I built myself. And uh, and I miss... Uh, well, I don't miss any shows. But, I mean, they... Uh, uh, like, sometimes we don't get the 9 o'clock programs till after midnight. You know? <laughs> That's because I built it myself. Now, I forgot where I was. <laughs> Would you like us to roll an army cot out and catch no, a couple no, of no. short naps sometimes? No, it's okay. Uh, I'll, I'll lie out. Don't worry about it. You know, uh, You're doing some commercial. What, what is this? I should know. What what? Is this? Is oh, this it? is... Uh, no, this has nothing to do with the commercial. Oh. This is the American Fighter Pilots Association. Really, it is. Oh, is that right? Scouts on it. If I'm lying, I'm dying. <laughs> I didn't come out here to tell you a lot of big lies, you know, because... You mean no. you fight pilots? No. <laughs> You know, oh, you know, the same thing happens. Every time I get on your show, the same thing happens. We get to goofing around, and, and you say something that uh, you're not supposed to say, and... You make and, it dirty. Well, <laughs> I don't really make it dirty. I, I don't mean, know what you're squawking about. I did the warm-up here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a funny thing, you know, that, that, that I would have five dogs, because actually I never got along too good with dogs. Really? Yeah. Well, Never. Why? I mean, I, I had trouble with dogs. I used to get bit by dogs like other people get bit by mosquitoes. But dogs are like it. Never. When, when I was a kid, they didn't. You know, once I got bit by an old dog, he didn't even have any teeth. <laughs> <laughs> he, he died shortly after. <laughs> yeah. Just kind of over gummed of, you a little bit, huh? Well, it was a question of biting <laughs> off a little more than he could chew. <laughs> he went peacefully, I suppose. But then, then, I, then, I got, then I got my first dog. You know, my dad bought me my first... Or he didn't buy him, yeah. actually. He got him from the dog pound. The pound. And it was a, a real nice little dog. He figured if I'm going to get bit, I ought to get bit by somebody I know. <laughs> so he got me this dog, and it was a little bitty... Uh, when I got him, it was a little bitty. And then he started to... Uh, actually, he turned out to be a Shetland pony. <laughs> Gave no hint until he started no, to grow. No, but you can never convince my dad, you know. Yeah. No, he said, any dog you get from the dog pound is a dog. <laughs> it's not a Shetland pony. <laughs> we used to put him on, you know. We used to say, hey, Dad, 
Look at old Rover there, galloping across the meadow, <laughs> munching an apple. <laughs> and the My dad said, yeah, he sure is a crazy dog. Ain't he? <laughs> that's, that's the way it goes. <laughs> God bless you, brother. <laughs> Look at old Rover munching on the apples. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hell yes. Hey, look. I, I mean, mean, heck yes. Yes, that's right. Uh, I, uh, I asked you about this before, and I think they thought you were making a joke. The fighter pilots. You were a pilot, right? Oh, yes. I was a, uh, I was a pilot during the, the war. You remember the war. It was in all the papers. And I read you. <laughs> well, I told you about that the last time I was on your show, you know, but uh, I fought the whole war in Oklahoma. Uh, is that what you were saying? I don't know why people laugh when I say that, you know. Because that's evidently where they needed me or they wouldn't have sent me. Uh, <laughs> no, go ahead and laugh. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. You know, but if you remember, you think back. No, first of all, I was an instructor. I was in V-29s first at Altus, Oklahoma, and then V-26s at Frederick, Oklahoma, and I was an instructor there. And if you think back, and, and I'm not mad at anybody or anything, but just remember, there was not one Japanese aircraft got past Tulsa. Were you shooting a commercial today? Yeah, and... and uh, <laughs> you don't believe that. Do you? Uh, uh, whatever you say. Uh, uh, exactly what you time did I lose uh, control of the show? The other two people, because I didn't know Dean there was coming. Are I, I didn't know there are other people. Are more people coming? More people are coming out of here. To Wonderful. Sit. And, uh, and who are they, John? Oh, John. Carol Wayne and, and Bob Wagner. So we'll just get them out of here. Well, there's the feet. <laughs> Hey, the show's going well, isn't it? Ah, so right it is. <laughs> I didn't Nancy. say it, Dolores. I didn't say it. <laughs> Dolores. Dolores is my shepherd. I shall oh, not want. Oh, yeah. She needed me. <laughs> You, uh... Anytime you're ready, John. Yeah. You oh, old, John. You old name dropper, you? <laughs> Folks, you want to lock up, Ed? I'm going to catch a cab. <laughs> Leave the key. Hey, John, try to lie out of this one. <laughs> I guess. Uh, Carol just is a new bride. Yeah? You were married when? Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Yeah. Well, All I, heart, huh? I hope you... <laughs> <laughs> or, a, or a transplant or something, I don't know. Uh, are you, you happy, Mar happily now, Mr. Mary? Oh, yes. Well, you know, I believe that there are just some areas in your life that you do not want any surprises in. And marriage is definitely one of them. No, this is actually her voice, fellas. Quit looking, quit looking around. It's coming from right here. So, this is it. I no. thought there was a cartoon going on. <laughs> You see, now, I'll tell you one thing. The oil slick could help that. <laughs> yeah. What does your husband do? Oh, he's a famous photographer Works and a filmmaker. <laughs> famous but, but motion picture photographer? Yes. Yeah, he did a great movie that's been accepted by the Academy Awards called You Are What You Eat. Good. <laughs> First one of you that says a thing is under house arrest. going to take my career down the drain. Nobody here. I'm here every night, fellas. 
Don't do it to me. Not after this uh, show, you yeah. are. Well, this, this has been a night. Well, we'll do more, but I'm leaving immediately for open heart surgery after this one. He's talking. Never what? had words. Big Johnny, John. Oh, oh John. Oh, John. Oh, John. Oh, Bob, yeah. I'm sorry you, we got you a little late here tonight. But I thank you for joining us in the sketch, and uh, I hope you have a real happy marriage. Thank you. Really, if you're real happy, you're, you're a very, very lovely girl. Anna, could you, do you, could you get mad for me once? Just like, ah. You never get mad, do you? Oh, I'm just as miserable as everyone else. Oh. <laughs> you, you want to play around with that a while? Oh, I didn't think so. Oh, I'd love to play around. Yes, I know that, that Dave. <laughs> I don't think she could get angry at her wonderful husband you know, with that voice. Not just it'd kind of melt, wouldn't he? Oh, yeah, easily. Oh, yes. Dean, I thank you for being here. Dean's on his Dean, way to Dean, I told you in front of people, Mr. Mark. He's on a... Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Never come while I'm working. Dean, thank you. Hey, what a kick. Really. Bob, I just you, came sir. on to do a finished thing just to walk on and say a line. And you stay here the whole day with George? It goes to my attorneys. <laughs> thank you, George. Thank you. Such a great show tonight. I, I, I wish now I'd have been on it. <laughs> Thank you, Judy. Good night, all. This program was pre-recorded. <laughs>